Hello and welcome to a vlog. I haven't done one of these in a very, very long time. But I've this is a weird one because I'm just basically we used to do unboxings, or rather, we used to do kinda mail bags, but this is we're gonna call this post bag. This is the post bag, and I've got a, quite a lot of stuff. There's just been so many games coming out that even like I haven't I haven't got it here. You can't see the stuff. You can see a switch there. Uh, I haven't had time to even unbox the Switch Lite on camera. I just had to review it, just get on with it. But we have got a load of stuff just here. You can't see it, just here. First thing I'm going to show you is it's not been sent to me for any reason, but I still collect Amiibo. And I, like the last one, I forgot to cancel this. And it's one of the three new ones, and I forgot to cancel. And it's Snake, Metal Gear Solid Snake. I don't know if you're going to be better. But that's that, yeah, that's just, I always have an Amiibo when I do one of these, so. Next up is something I want to show you that I'm going to write something about. It's kind of cool. Um, it's a pair of headphones. A pair of headphones. Maybe from this angle, it doesn't even look that amazing. Um, see the funny angle on them? So these are, this is, that is actually a prototype. This is not, I don't, it's not going to come like this. It just, I can't show you the box, it's got my dress on it. But they're not just going to come like this, okay? Um, but they're supposed to sort of, do something the vibration is supposed to make the audio seem like really really like you're there um, so I'm gonna have a play with these I'm gonna see if they do what they say they're gonna do because I am massively into my audio and I really hope that these are almost like the next generation I guess of audio again these are prototypes if you do I think they're on Kickstarter um, or something like that. They're on a crowdfunding platform, uh, and I think it's, been, it's long funded, but they're not going to come packaged like this if you buy them at retail. You can read that. Cosplaying Ducks. Let's have a look. Uh, Lord Shax. Now, I'm not a Destiny fan, so I, I'm not even going to pretend. And Fallout. Nice. They're not like squishy. I don't think they are. I don't want to break it, actually. Um, yeah, they're, it's in a bath. I think these are going on the shelf. I'm not sure it goes back in there. That's really weird. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, they're in a bathtub. Okay, so that's the Nuka Cola girl. The number four by the looks of it. Lord Shax. You can also get K6, Sweeper Bot, and Eris Morn. It's a duck with. Uh, Destiny, it's a Destiny duck. I don't know if that's if gamers are weird or if the people who make the games are weird. I mean, I don't know. I'm kidding. That's going to end up on the shelf over there, isn't it? Game of Thrones house bin badge set because we cover more than just games. It's basically the badge for all the houses. So there's the, obviously the Game of Thrones logo in the middle. I've forgotten the name of the houses now. Amazing. I watched that show so much and I've forgotten them. There must be a Lannister one there somewhere. I can't remember what the Lannister one looks like, but that's definitely the, the the one, the one that everyone knows. I don't know. I mean, I suppose if I mean I like Game of Thrones, I enjoyed it, but uh, you'd have to be like properly into Game of Thrones to go around wearing a. I don't know. I suppose people do it with Harry Potter, like wearing Gryffindor badges and stuff. But there's, there's ten 3D metal pin house uh, house pin badges. And a bonus title logo pin, and it's officially licensed. It's thecoyostore.com. You'll see it there, I think. Happy snacking. Share your boxu experience, hashtag boxu, for a chance to win a free box. Now, again, we've done lots of food stuff on the podcast, so it didn't seem that weird to cover this. This is the September 2019 version. You get this really nice color, very nicely printed thing in there, um, and what you'll find in your box. These are Japanese treats. It even teaches you some Japanese. Look, let's learn some Japanese just there. A thing. I think that's just a gummy. Okay, delicious cheese fans. Fans. Oh, financier. I misread that. Delicious cheese financier. I'm not one of those. Um, can't smell through. Obviously, uh, again, I, a packet of something with a beer on the front. Ofu. Some and the, the box kind of goes. There's a gummy sweet. There's definitely a gummy sweet. And it's just a box full. Like, I'm not even going to get it all out. It's a box full of, of goodies. Um, I mean, what? I don't know what they are. They look like cocoa beans, but they might not be. There's a baked chocolate. I know that's there's baked chocolate. Another gummy thing. Um, 
that seems like a cake. Yep, yeah, feels like a cake. Uh, and a tiny rabbit, which I'm guessing isn't edible. Although it actually does look edible. And just loads, of, and I'm really kind of looking forward to this. I mean, again, they look like some sort of, it's like a pack of crisps, but not. And then at the bottom, there's more crisps and a bar of, of something with a, with a little dude putting a blanket on there, look. And genuinely, I think what I'll do is I'll get the kids involved and we will just go through. I mean, it's a really full packed box of stuff to eat and, and that's always good. Boxu.com. Retro Gaming by Mike Diver. I've actually written for him uh, and I've worked with him when he was in PR. Lovely guy. And this is his book and it's kind of cool. If you're of a similar age to me, you're going to come across a lot of stuff you like. So like, for example, there's Game & Watch. Let's flip to another random page. Spyro the Dragon. Croc. Croc. Hey, retro Gaming. It goes up to GameCube era and even the Xbox. So there you go. you got Resi 4, Wind Waker, the Xbox. Plenty of stuff in here. That's not quite the last page, but I don't want to spoil what the last page is. Interesting choice. Twelve ninety nine. It's a coffee table book. It's not. It's not an advert. Uh, I didn't ask for this to be sent. It's just arrived in the post, and we don't tend to cover. We used to do like a, a reading club for a gaming book. We did the Bioshock novels. Um, just a nice book, and Mike Dive is a good guy, and has helped me out in the past. And he's also a really good editor, so I know this will be well written. Retro Gaming, a bite-sized history of video games. Thank you very much for watching. Patreon.com slash Geek for $1 a month, which is a pound a month, basically. 12 quid a year, 10 a year, give or take. You get this kind of video early. You get um, early access to the podcast. We do giveaways on there. And if you're a $30 tier, you get a t-shirt, the ketchup t-shirt, which I am not wearing. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.